I am doing one of those projects that is so near and dear to my heart, a DIY or do-it-yourself project for home decor. I was out thrifting and I saw the sweetest little stool and I decided it would be perfect for my front porch. And all it needed is a little refurbishing. I just need to brush it off, clean it up, and add a little stain. So if you wanna see me take care of that, keep watching. Welcome to This and That with Denise Jordan. I teach women to make wise home health and beauty decisions. So if you want to learn more about running a household, subscribe. Or if you want to see reviews about products that can benefit you in your home, subscribe because I do videos on those topics all the time. So hit that subscribe button and tap that little bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos and definitely check out the show notes in the description box below because that's where I'll link my favorite housekeeping and gardening solutions. Okay, let's jump into it. For Lisa at Home Body with Poor Lisa and Sharon at Creative Glam has issued a challenge and it is to do a DIY project for home decor but the caveat is you must spend under $20. And that worked out perfectly for me because I found the sweetest little stool and it was just $3.49. And I already had everything I needed at home to spruce it up with. But before I get started, let me take this opportunity to thank Sharon at Creative Glam and for Lisa at Home Body with For Lisa for hosting this challenge. Both of those ladies are just beautiful ladies and they do some really fun things on their channel and they both love glam. Glam, glam, and more glam. So you will definitely love what they do over there. So go on over and check them out once you're done here. I'll be sure to link Sharon and For Lisa's channel below so that you can go on over there and visit them and see what they've got going on. And I will also link the playlist so that you can see what all the other creators have done. You will certainly be inspired by all the amazing, amazing projects that you will find. The first thing I'll do is put my apron on this is one of my husband's aprons, but he has them, a bunch of them, out in the garage. And he gets them out when the grandchildren are here and they work on different projects. And he told me to be sure and put an apron on because he said that stain is not coming out. So you definitely don't want to get it on your clothing. So I'm prepared with my apron. Now let me show you my stool. This is the stool that I got. Look at it. And it's just a little simple wooden stool, but I picked it up thrifting and it was just $3.50. And I have to tell you, when I got it, the ladies at the Goodwill, one that was the uh, checkout person and the other one was like a supervisor walking around, they both came over. They couldn't believe that this stool was marked for $3.50. And they were like, you really don't want to buy that. Why don't you leave it here? They wanted to buy it. But I just thought it would be perfect. I'm thinking that I might use it to set a container garden on, something on my porch. Something just really pretty because I really love to make the, post, the porch cozy. And I think this will do that. And I am rambling, so let me go ahead and get started. Let me grab a rag so I can wipe it down. So I've got some gloves right here. There. And the first thing I'm going to do is just wipe this down. Just get any dust that's on it off. Because it actually looks pretty clean. Okay.
tested out a couple of different stains that I had in the garage to figure out which one I wanted and I decided that this is the one that I wanted. So I'm going to start with the bottom and then I'll move to the front. from time to time as he checks my progress. He's already given me preliminary instructions, but he might have to come back through with a few more. So here is my under $20 spring decor and DIY project. I am really pleased with the way it turned out. It's going to be on my front porch probably and I'm going to set one of my container gardens on top of it. So I can't wait to get it out there. Right now I'm going to let it dry and then I'll get the rest of this cleaned up and there you have it. So here's my question for you. What part of this process do you have a question about? Tell me in the comments section below. And I know you guys are saying another DIY. And you know what? It was kind of fun doing this. And you know since I'm beginning to learn how to do some of these things, the hubby's not quite as willing to do them for me. I told him, I said, why don't you just clean it up and I'll just videotape you doing it. And he's like, nope, it's your project. So he did give me needed instruction, but it's all done till now. I gotta figure out how to get this, this, and this off of my skin, and I'll be good to go. So I'm gonna let this dry, and I will see you next time. Fingernail polish remover. It's working.
Like it's a little dark. Do I use one of these wraps or do I use paper towel? Yeah. This wrap? Yeah. And then what? Get all the way on the bottom first? Like do I do the other side yeah, first? Okay. So do all of this mm -hmm. and then wipe it off? Yeah, I would get it just damp first though. Get what damp? Right. Oh, okay, okay. Do that part as you go. Well, 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 Okay, so now I should do the center bar. Yeah, and then the inside of the uh, little loops there too. Oh, okay. I should do these? Yeah, you're not going to touch the floor. Okay. 